Today, we're doing a little content planning. Hello everyone and welcome to The Ascent. I'm your host, Steve Campbell. It's a beautiful day, it's Friday. My pens won yesterday, Melissa's working from home. Everybody's happy. So today I'm doing a little bit of content planning for next week. This is something I found to be super helpful at times, um, but if you're not careful, it can take way longer than you originally expected. When that happens, you typically end up putting off posting anything at all until you're finished. Like with most things, I'm just trying to practice good balance. But when you do this right in advance, you can actually save yourself a lot of time during the week. Trying to sit down every morning and come up with a brilliant idea for an article on the spot is pretty tough. Before I know it, 30 or 40 minutes are gone, and then, you know, next thing you know, my whole day's out of whack because I only set aside 90 minutes to even write the article. So that's what I'm trying to do a little bit today is prepare. First thing I did was I created a spreadsheet. Uh, I went through all my Medium articles that I would posted recently, and I went down through them all and I looked for all the highlights and all the comments that people left in terms of the sentences that they liked most. So I started dropping those into the spreadsheet and they serve as inspiration for me to write tweets, to base entire new articles on, things like that. Then I went to Quora and started doing a little bit of research. Quora is great because you can type in a search term like photography and then as you're scrolling down through all the questions that they have available, you can see how many people are following each one. So if I go to a question about social media or content creation for instance and I happen to see that there's about 150 people that follow it, chances are good that that could scale to potentially thousands of people who are actually interested in knowing that answer. So what I typically like to do is I like to combine both in the spreadsheet and I use those two tabs as sort of my inspiration for my upcoming content. The next step for me is figuring out where I wanna distribute everything and start mapping out what those posts look like across the different platforms and then also what publications I wanna start submitting articles to this week. Then I can pop right back in the doc, craft some headlines in advance, and then when I sit down on Tuesday, say, to write the article, I'll actually have plenty of information already there. I will have thought about it for a few days, and I'll already have the headline. So that's it for me today. Just having fun, enjoying Friday. I really like this content stuff. And so, um, yeah, looking forward to another Penn's victory tomorrow, and I will see you on Monday.